Good morning and welcome to this service um, of morning prayer in the Book of Alternative Services tradition for this first Sunday after Christmas. We begin on page 47 of your green prayer books. If you have a copy, please follow along. Lord, open our lips. And our mouths will proclaim your prayer. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And this sentence for incarnation. To us the child is born, O come, let us worship. And we'll say together the jubilati found on page 49 at the bottom. Be joyful to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God and he himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise, give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. And the first reading this morning is from Psalm 148, found on page 907 in your green prayer books. And we'll read the psalm responsively by full verse. Page 907. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, heaven of heavens, and you waters above them. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He made them stand fast forever and ever. He gave them a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters in all deeps. Fire and hail, stone and wall, tempestuous wind, doing good. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars. Wild beasts and all cattle, creeping things and wicked birds. Kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the world. Young men and babies, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name only is exalted. His splendor is over heaven and earth. Hallelujah. The next reading is from Colossians, chapter 3, beginning at the 12th verse. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. This is the word of the Lord. Our gospel reading this morning is from the Gospel of Luke, beginning at, in the second chapter, beginning at the 41st verse. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Now every year, Jesus' parents were at Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up as usual for the festival. When the festival was ended, they started to return. The boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Assuming that he was in the group of travelers, they went a day's journey. Then they started to look for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem in search for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Child, why have you treated us like this? Look, your father and I have been searching with, for you in great anxiety. He said to them, Why were you searching for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. His mother treasured all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in years and in divine and human favor. The Gospel of Christ. So when we were going to be getting together in person, I was just going to ask everybody a question. So I'll have to ask that of you now online. The question for you is this. Of all the Christmas gifts that you have ever been given over the years, does one stand out? One is especially special for you. Okay, so here's my story. Long time ago in another life, a freelance editor gave me a gift for Christmas. She was in her 80s at the time. She had been a writer and a publisher for decades along with her husband and had established a weekly newspaper. She continued to edit after he died and to write, and she had become a favorite freelance editor of mine. She was always upbeat and really positive and good at her job. She had had 12 children, all of whom eventually became doctors and surgeons and lawyers and other professionals. Easier to have 12 than one, she would tell me. She told me that that particular year because I was pregnant with Matthew. I was still working at Christmas time and he was, his due date was the middle of January. A couple of days before Christmas, she came into the office and she handed me this little package. When I opened it, it was a knit baby's stocking, just one. In my family, she said, we always place a baby's stocking that is being expected on the Christmas tree. It's just part of the tradition. And so I took it home and I hung it on my tree, thinking of how life would soon change profoundly in so many ways. That stocking represented to me something new, someone new, who was about to happen. It made me feel like I was not all alone in my soon-to-be experience of motherhood. It welcomed me into a new phase of my life. It showed that someone cared about what was really happening in my world. Now, I don't know whatever happened to that stocking because it's been lost in the mists of time, but it remains one of my favorite memories of gift. Christmas time, and we think of another child born into this world so long ago, and a promise that God kept to all of us that we are loved deeply appreciated for who we are and not forgotten in whatever it is we are handling. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son for us. This Christmas, may you remember that 
And may that remembering nurture your own heart and your spirit. Amen. I look forward to hearing from you some of your favorite memories of favorite gifts in the future. Please turn to page, if you can, to page 53 in your green prayer books. As we affirm what it is we believe in, in the Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. And our intercessions this morning are found on page 113, number four. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear and have mercy. Page 113. We pray for all who confess the name of Christ. Fill us with the power of your spirit. Lord, hear and have mercy. We pray for those whose lives are bound in mutual love and for those who live in celibacy. Let there be their joy and their strength. Lord, hear and have mercy. We pray for all in danger, for those who are far from home, for prisoners, for exiles, for victims of oppression. Grant them your salvation. Lord, hear and have mercy. We pray for all who are facing trials and difficulties thinking in particular of the sick and the homeless. We pray for those who are dying. Show them your kindness and mercy. Lord, hear and have mercy. We pray for one another, that we may always be united in service and love. Lord, hear and have mercy. We pray to be forgiven for our sins and set free from all hardship distress, want, war, and injustice. Lord, hear and have mercy. May we discover new and just ways of sharing the goods of the earth, struggling against exploitation, greed, or lack of concern. May we all live by the abundance of your mercies and find joy together. Lord, hear and have mercy. May we be strengthened by our communion, with all Christ's saints. Lord, hear and have mercy. Amen. And the special collect for today is found on page 276. And we'll say it together. Almighty God, you have shed upon us the new light of your incarnate word. May this light enkindled in our hearts shine forth in our lives through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom will, on earth, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may the God of hope 
Fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed week ahead. God bless you all.